Microsoft Project Professional is one of the most full-featured, powerful, and complex project management tools in the market. Its toolset is likely more robust than you actually need in most cases, but it may be the only Gantt tool you've ever heard of. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of the MS Project Professional interface, show you how to create a blank project, add and organize some tasks, and add resources to your project. So let's get started. When you open Project, you're presented with the welcome screen, which gives you a few options. You can start with one of the pre-made templates, you can open an existing project file that's saved locally on your computer or in the cloud, or you can create a new blank project. We'll do that. Once you've created your blank project, you can see the full project window. It's broken down into four parts. The left side of the window is the task list, where you can see and edit your tasks. The right side is the Gantt chart, where your tasks can be visually represented over time. Above the task list in Gantt chart is the timeline, which can show you whichever tasks from your project that you choose. And above that is the ribbon, which contains various tools and shortcuts to help you plan your project. Let's first go ahead and close the timeline, as we won't be talking about that in this section of the video. If you'd like a video on the timeline specifically, let us know in the comments. To close the timeline, click on the view menu and uncheck the timeline box. The first thing we have to do is create some tasks. Click in the task name field to enter the name of your task. Give your task a duration and set the start date. The finish date is automatically created for you and you can see the task bar appear on the Gantt chart. And by default, Project will update the project start date to the start date of the first task you create. If you want to change the start date of your project, click on the Project button in the ribbon and select Project Information and change the start date of your project. You can continue adding more tasks the same way. Alternatively, you can give your task a start and finish date and the duration column will be filled automatically. If you give your task a duration but do not specify a start or end date, you'll see that a taskbar is created for you beginning at the start date of your project. This taskbar will have blurred edges to let you know that no start or finish date has been set for this task. If you want or need to reschedule a task that's already created, you can adjust the start and end dates in the task list, or simply click and drag the taskbar so it starts and ends on the new date. You can also change the duration of a task by clicking and dragging the end of the taskbar to the new duration. If you want to edit the appearance of the taskbar, double click in the Gantt chart to open the taskbar format panel and change the color of the main taskbar or start and end bars. If you have a lot of resources assigned to tasks, you can even change where those resource names appear with your taskbars in the Gantt chart. We'll talk more about resources later on in this video. And now would be a good time to decide whether you want your tasks to be manually scheduled or auto scheduled by project. To set the scheduling mode for your whole project, go to the task section in the ribbon and choose manually schedule or auto schedule. You can change the setting on a per task basis by clicking on the blue pushpin icon and selecting manual or auto. The blue pushpin icon indicates that the task is manually scheduled. If you select auto scheduled, the icon will change to a blue box with an arrow indicating it is now automatically scheduled by MS Project. Now that you have a few tasks created, it's important to start thinking about organizing your project tasks. Most projects happen in phases or are broken down into groups of similar work. To keep your tasks grouped together, you can use a summary task. In project, a summary task is simply a collapsible subgroup that can help you keep your project and tasks organized. To create a summary task, select the task row where you want your summary task. Then from the task menu, click insert summary task. Give your summary task a name, and also notice that Project created the first task inside of the summary for you. You can rename that task as well as move existing tasks into the summary. To move existing tasks into the summary, right click on the colored taskbar, then right click on the task name and select copy. Then right click under your summary task and select paste. Your tasks should now be inside this collapsible summary task. With tasks and task groups now in your project, it's time to add key milestones. Milestones can be important meetings, deadlines, dates, or deliverables. Click the link in the description to see more videos and guides on milestones and project management. To add a milestone to your project, click Task, Insert Milestone. Give your milestone a name and make sure that the duration is set to zero days. To add dependencies, which project calls links, simply control or shift click the tasks or milestones that you want to link. Then, click on the task menu and click the link button. All of the selected tasks and milestones will be linked. A link or dependency is an indication that one task cannot start until the preceding task finishes. The default is a start to finish dependency. There are other options, but those are beyond the scope of this video. Your project work will not get done unless the people or teams responsible know they have work to do. In project, these people or teams are called resources, and they can be individuals, internal or external teams, 
subcontractors, or even equipment that needs to be scheduled. You can let them know what tasks they have upcoming by assigning them to the tasks in your project plan. Select one or more resources from the drop-down list in the resource name field in the task list and select who you want to work on your task. Resourcing is a big topic, especially with MS Project, but that we'll get much more into in a future video. Now let's talk about the timeline. Notice that at this point there are no tasks in the timeline section of the screen. Remember, the timeline view only shows tasks that you choose to show there. This can be helpful for major tasks, milestones, or even summary tasks to get a high level view of your project without seeing each individual task. To add a task or milestone to the timeline, simply right click on the task or milestone name and choose add to timeline. To remove a task from the timeline, right click on the task in the timeline and choose remove from timeline. Remember, unlike tools like Team Gantt or even Project's online variations, Project Professional stores your files on the hard drive of your computer. It's critical to remember that these files have to be saved as you're working. Simply click the save icon in the upper left of the project window, or go to files, save, or save as. If this is the first time you've saved this project file, you're gonna need to choose a location. Just choose the location and click save. Remember, whenever you make changes or updates to your project file, you're gonna need to save them so you don't lose any progress. And that's all you need to know to get started in Microsoft Project. Now let me show you why it's easier to manage your projects with Team Gantt. Team Gantt is seriously easy to use, making it the perfect MS Project alternative. And your team will be up and running in no time. And the best part, we don't have a ton of useless features. So by focusing on 90% of the most used features, we can deliver a simple tool that's just as powerful as it is intuitive. As we all know, delays and overages can sneak up on you if you don't have a clear picture of your project. With Team Gantt, all of your schedules, estimates, and tracked hours all live on the Gantt chart. This allows you to see how your work is pacing against your plan and how to get wayward tasks back on track before it's too late. With Team Gantt, you don't have to change the way you work. You can easily switch from a Gantt chart to a Kanban board to a task list, even a calendar view. You can even manage multiple projects from a single Gantt chart or a custom board. No matter how or where you work, everything stays in sync. Here at Team Gantt, we believe that money shouldn't get in the way of keeping your teams and leaders on the same page. And that's why Team Gantt only charges for managers. You can add unlimited collaborators to your projects for absolutely free with a 30-day trial of our pro plan. Team Gantt's built-in resourcing software makes it super easy to resolve conflicts when scheduling tasks. No need to switch between different screens to check availability or reallocate work. You can plan your projects with confidence, knowing your teams can hit their deadlines with a lot less stress. And that's why Team Gantt plays nice with other softwares too. Sync projects up with Trello, Jira, Slack, Dropbox, or even our API and Zapier integrations to connect with thousands of different apps. And also, you don't have to take a bunch of extra steps or pay extra fees to keep stakeholders or clients up to date. Just invite them as a free collaborator or send them a view-only link to your project so they can see the status of the project without having to go through you each time. We also offer something called the Project Health Report, which gives you an easy to scan high level view of your entire project portfolio. This will allow you to identify issues quickly and address risk as work progresses. It's also perfect for sharing on screen during meetings to keep other team members or stakeholders up to date. You can also store all of your files and communications in a centralized hub, so it's easy for anyone to see the latest project updates. No extra add-ons needed. Your team can access tasks from any location and update progress with one click whether they're on PC, Mac, or a mobile device. And with Team Gantt, any project can be a template. And as the original project evolves, the template evolves with it. No more need for using outdated templates or making manual updates. You'll also have access to a large library of ready-made templates that can help you save time on setup. At Team Gantt, our customers are our investors, not Silicon Valley heavyweights. Your success is our priority, and if you need a hand, we're always here to help. You can get a response in as little as three minutes during our weekday hours. Weekend and evening support is also available. Click on the link in the description to sign up for your free account now. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Manny, and I'll see you guys in the next video.